Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to move on to our second conversation for the day. And of course, we are still bringing you amazing content right here on the show. Now, today we are going to be looking at a topic that is often discussed on social media and just in general in society. That is to do with young men and values that we are instilling into young men today. Now, a young man himself has seen a problem, and that is Temi Dioseriki. And in order to solve this problem, or rather to challenge this problem, he started the Man Up Initiative straight after he graduated in business management from University in the United Kingdom. Now, Timmy Dio is here in the studio with Olive and I, and he's going to be telling us all about the challenges that he believes young men are facing, the solutions that he believes we can provide for young men, and also exactly what the Man Up Initiative is all about. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. How Hello. are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have a lot to discuss today, and I'm so excited to have this conversation. My first question to you, what are your values? What do you stand for? Wow. Well, like growing up, you know, I was very close to my mom. So I was always like able to see things from a woman's perspective, especially about men. So I guess I didn't really have the traditional upbringing, you know, that, you know, normal guys have by watching their dads and stuff. And also I wasn't in boarding school. So basically I lived around like my mom and my two sisters, my entire upbringing, mm -hmm. you know. So I guess with that, I was able to understand, you know, things that I could do differently that, that, you know, make me stand out. But although it was unconscious, you know, it was just me growing up, whereas, like, people ended up telling me that, oh, you know, you're so this, you're so that, and I'm like, thank God. <laughs> All right, still speaking about you growing up, you know, when in our society we have certain values that we unfortunately teach men, things like yeah. men don't cry, yeah. men should not behave too effeminately, don't, don't show yeah. too much emotion, don't, don't, don't enter the express kitchen. yourself, don't enter yeah, the kitchen, you know? you know, the girls should do the cooking while the boys play with the football and hang out with their dad. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a lot of that growing up? And how do you think that this whole <laughs> idea of manning up affects yeah. men today? It's funny that you asked me that. My experience was com the complete opposite of that. When it was every Sunday, my mom would delegate. So my sister would make like stew. I would make like okra or something, you know. And that's how we used to do it, like almost every weekend or every other weekend. So I never had that. Oh, men don't enter enter the kitchen. It was always Timmy Dial, get yourself to the kitchen right now, you know, something like that. So there was a time there was like it was only me and my sisters at home. So we always did all the cooking for my mom, you know, stuff like that, and for the house, things like that. So I never really had that typical, you know don't come into the kitchen. Although I have noticed that it's actually a lot deeper than people, you know, people don't take it as seriously as it is. Like I've seen a situation where a young boy came into the kitchen just to watch mm -hmm. and his mom literally sent him out. And it's like, why would you do that? In his head, he's just going to think like, okay, men don't belong in the kitchen, you know, things like that. Whereas that's not the case. And like in terms of, um, how society know, has termed man up, you know, the yes, name of yes, exactly. You know, you know how does it affect men? That's, that's like, one of the things that really drove me to call it man up, you know, to change the definition of what it means to man up. Because, like, you find that, you know, young boys, like, from a young age, they'll tell you boys don't cry. They'll tell you, um, you know, don't, they, won't, they wouldn't promote you to share your emotions, things like that, and then they'll tell you to man up. What does that even mean? So, basically, that's what man up is aiming to do, to change that, you know, definitions like that, terms like that, to make it, like, so that men will be comfortable sharing their emotions and, you know, and talking about things that they feel and like opening up to a different side of humanity that we're not tapping into. I love it. I love it. Now, on Monday, we were um, looking into World Suicide Prevention Day. And I recall Chimamanda Adichie had a speech in which she made and she said, quote unquote, that vulnerability has no gender. And this was with regards to the fact that more men commit suicide than women because men are conditioned to not speak up about their problems and therefore they are not getting the help that they need. And this is extremely distraught to actually look at in society, but it's factual, it's true, and that is exactly what is in front of us. Now, Timmy D, what problems would you say are the main and most fundamental issues that young men in Nigeria are facing today that you have personally recognized? Well, the main thing I've recognized about the Nigerian society is that we, we have a very, it's very patriarchal, like, it's very, like, um, men-centered, you know, even a lot of women have that mentality instilled it's in them as well. World. Yes, you know, and a lot of women also have that and they've accepted it and they live by that, whereas now we've, we've come into an era, an era where, like, you know, a lot of people are noticing this and realizing that it's not, you know, how we should be living. And because of that, like, a lot of guys don't, you know, like what we were speaking about earlier, they don't get to, you know, express themselves. They don't get to be vulnerable. You know how they, people don't realize the importance of 
sh like if something happens to you, sharing your emotions, even if it's just with a friend. Guys usually just have a habit of keeping things to themselves. I also had that habit actually. Like, you know, I find it hard to express how I feel. You know, even if it's just with my friends. You know, with my, you know, people I'm, you know, my closest friends, my family, things like that. You know, if I found it difficult, but then I realized the importance of letting your emotions out and things like that. And a lot of guys didn't grow up with that kind of, you know, mentality instilled in them. What can we do differently as a people to encourage vulnerability in men? We find that lots of men are depressed, but they're not able to speak up because they think that it's not manly to express their emotions. And instead, they drown their emotions in alcohol, cigarettes, and several other vices. Uh, yeah. We also find that lots of men are, you know, having suicidal thoughts. We have that there are men that have been sexually abused. Yeah. We focus a lot on sexual abuse on the part of females. But we mm. don't, we forget to think that men also go through these things. But in fact, I remember being thought, um, taught criminal law in 300 level. And we challenged the definition of rape because at the time, the definition strictly said canal knowledge, having unlawful canal knowledge of a woman. And we said, mm. why can't that be done to a man? Yeah. And I remember my ca categorically that my lecturer said, how can a man complain of that? A woman is helping mm -hmm. you with your quote-unquote kanji. So this is the society that we live in that thinks, as a man, you can't be sexually abused. What can we do differently as a people to change this narrative, to encourage men to speak up more, to be more vulnerable, to be in touch with their feelings and with their emotions? Wow, you know, what you, what you said is actually very, it's very, it's very deep, you know, in the Nigerian culture that, or not even just Nigeria, actually, generally, that men can be raped. Like, they'll see it as, like, men are dogs or something, like, we're just sex machines that, you know, it's impossible for us to be raped. It's, it's, it, it's very possible. I actually saw a clip one time of two or three women holding down a man and actually raping him. And just because a man, like, you know, is aroused doesn't mean that it's consensual. You know, and it's, it's, it's crazy because, like, you know, a lot of guys don't, I don't, even guys have that mentality, basically, and it's, it's, it's scary. And also, like, um, in terms of how we can, you know, what we can do to, to, to solve that, um, I feel like, personally, I feel like Nigeria is coming into an information age, whereas people need to know more things, people are trying to learn more, people are trying to have more information. And I feel like information is a very key part in this, you know, in, in changing the mentality. So, like, schools, churches, you know, even, like, institutions, initiatives, like Man Up Initiative, like, talk to people, get, get people thinking differently than the traditional. Because, like, I read something, and it says, if, if we don't um, challenge ourselves to have good values, we're going to automatically adopt bad values. Mm. And especially if the bad values are, what are around you, generally. You know, it's very easy to pick up things around you. And if somebody doesn't tell you, oh, what you're doing is wrong, you're not going to know it's wrong. So, like, a lot of people now, yeah, they have that, but they're very ignorant, and they don't know that, uh, actually, you know, men are human beings as well. Mm. You know, and men, sh men can be raped as well. A lot of guys get raped, even by other men. Whereas, and they'll tell you, like, a definition of rape is penetration. Whereas a guy, is, is not always, it's not always that a guy can be penetrated for him to be raped. You know, so things like this need to change, you know. Even laws need to help us to, you know, the, the legislation needs to help us in terms of, like, you know, changing mentalities, changing perspectives, you know. Because women have changed. Like, that's the era, era we're in now. Women have changed. So men need to change, too, so we don't get left behind, you know. And that's what Man Up Initiative is really trying to get going, especially with younger generations, so like, even in schools and stuff like that, to get young boys knowing because all these things start from when you're young yeah you know so to get young boys knowing that you know this is not really how it's it actually can be you know you, from like private school level to public school level trying to reach everybody as much as possible you know okay. just to but spread that's it. brilliant that's brilliant and one thing that you've done to actually challenge that and to make a stand in society on that is create safe spaces for men yeah. and i know that recently you created a safe space for men that have experienced or survived sexual violence how did that go it was actually very fantastic. And because of the, you know, the, the sensitivity of the topic, we could not film, we couldn't take any pictures. So we just had a safe space, you know, and it was beautiful. We spoke for like three hours, whereas it was just meant to be like an hour or something, but we just talked and talked and talked. And, you know, I, I came across some very intellectual guys, you know, who have experienced different things, whether even if it's not personally, who have seen different things. So, like, it, it got me really thinking. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about, that's actually where I really understood that a lot of guys don't really have that, you know, it, they're not really in touch with their emotions and things like that. And, you know, stuff like that can, can help that, you know, like rape and sexual assault and all those things. Because it can happen to guys. And yeah, it happens to women too. 
but like guys are less likely to speak about it you know and guys are very, like you'd be embarrassed almost are you having a safe space anytime soon again because we'd like to also encourage people that are watching who have been abused at any point. Some people think, oh, it was my first sexual experience. No, it was not really your first sexual experience. You were abused if it happened to you as a child yes, and without yeah. your consent. Even if it happened to you as an adult yeah. without your consent, it is sexual abuse and you need to let it go because we realize that these things create harmful patterns that people are not able to link initially. Yeah. So are you creating any safe space anytime soon? How can people contact you? I'm sure there might be someone who needs to talk, who needs to vent, who needs to let go of their Or to watch your YouTube videos as well. So share that information too. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, well... My Instagram, the Instagram for Man Up Initiative is Man Up Initiative. And yes, Man Up is going to launch. We're launching a safe space. Because after that, I realized that, you know, it's, it's to be good to get a kind of platform going where not just people who are physically there, but people who aren't there as well can actually input and talk about things and maybe even call, you know. But that's definitely, that's in the works actually currently. I'm working with some people to get that going. In the next month, I should have, we should launch like almost a safe space series where people can come talk together, talk together about issues, different issues that men face, you know, starting with sexual assaults, things like that, things like money, things like pressures of p the patriarchal society we live in now, things like that. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. And social media <laughs> handles? Uh, Man Up Initiative on all platforms, Twitter, um, Instagram, and YouTube as well. We have a YouTube channel. Okay. It's um, Man Up Initiative on YouTube as well. And my right. personal handle is Timida Seriki. if you ever want to reach me. I'm very open to like hearing people's brilliant. thoughts and things like that. All so right, brilliant. feel free, please. Thank you very much for joining us. Timmy Dial, thank, thank you so much. I think it's also important to remind people that if you do need to report any cases of sexual or domestic violence in Lagos State alone, you can go through the DSVRT, call the emergency number on 112, or you can text star 7820 hash, and you can put your claim in there. Get the help that you need. Get the justice that you seek and you deserve. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.